Hi friends, welcome. Welcome back if you are new. My name is Courtney. I am a Gen X stay at home mom and wife and this is my little corner of the internet where it's just a big chaotic mix of all of the things that make me happy. Um, today I thought because I did have a few people ask me um, in one of my last videos about my planner system and a couple of people asked me about it on Instagram um, if I would do a flip through of all of my stologies from last year so last year I spent the entirety of the year in one system one planning system which hasn't happened in a really long time and that system was made up of two planners. One planner was a personal ring bound planner um, and I will leave a link to um, like my planner playlist somewhere. I think it'll be on this side maybe um, in the card and I'll try to remember to leave it linked down below as well. And the other part of that system is a bound notebook called Astology. If you're sort of new to the planner journaling community, um, it comes in three sizes, an A6, a B6, and an A5. And I have tried both the A5 cut down to a standard size and the B6. Last year, I chose the B6 as my size and I was in it for all of last year. So each book has 365 pages in it. So technically you could use this one book for your entire year if you used a day per page. Um, most planner journal people are a little bit extra so one book is not going to last us an entire year. I had um, three books for the year. I thought that I was going to end up in four but I managed to squeeze the last uh five months august through december i don't know what that is i don't math um in one book just because i ended up not really um using it very much in december for whatever reason i get really i don't know i get really confused in December about my planner situation. So I am going to flip through all three books that I used last year and just kind of chat about that. So if that is something that you think might be a little bit interesting, I hope that you will continue watching the video. All right, so I am going to start with book one. I ended up with three books for the year. I thought that I was going to do four, but I managed to get the year into three books. Um, so the first book goes from June, June, oh my gosh, what am I saying? The first book goes from January through April. Um, and I did the digital paper on sticker paper and put it down for the in page pages um, there's a picture of my husband and I and then I just went into my year I did do a year at a glance just want to make sure this is like focused um, that I glued in and then I tipped in this. I think this was from Peanuts Planner Co. for a future log. I had my key, which I didn't do this year. I need to remember that. Um, my index, I got these um, covers from Justinia Printables and then I just laminated them and tipped them in. And then these are the same uh, freebie that I'm using in my current Stology. These are from Peanuts Planner Co. They're in her Facebook group. Um, and I just use these for pre-planning. So go into January, 
um, I get pictures from Unsplash and print them on vellum and tip them in and then just goals and brain dump and then into my weekly. So at this point I was doing just like a weekly overview with some to do's, whatever I wanted on this page. And then um, I was doing, I probably started this late because I tend to do that. So I didn't need an entire um, page for the day. And then I just start. Unpack was my word for 2021. I think I really did work on unpacking all the things. Well, a lot of the things, not all of the things, but um, that I had wanted to in terms of like some emotional things that I was really working through, some just, um, I was still, grieving a lot for my mom and all of that stuff so yeah books that I read I should go back to doing that um, and that's it I would I picked a color for every month and I really enjoyed how that turned out um, that's just how I kind of went into it continue doing a day her page. This is, uh, we were doing um, virtual kindergarten and it was a struggle. I'm just like thinking, reading all of this and <laughs> thinking about it. got like some new plants we've gone to Ikea that day I do love how when you I was doing a monthly review here I love when you kind of look back and because it's written oh that was a good show Miss Scarlet and the Duke on PBS um, if you like historical mysteries that was really good um, but seeing things on paper like written out kind of brings that memory up so I did pinks and reds for February did I read I read two books I think I was doing a dip, like a page per month of just like funny things Rowan was saying to me at the time, which this makes me laugh so much. And when I was flipping through these, seeing this, we were taking the dog on a walk and one of our neighbors, like a couple streets over, had a new baby. And so they had like one of those uh, stork cutouts in their yard that said it's a, it's a boy. I think it was a boy, but, um, we were walking past and Rowan asked me what that was. And I said, oh, it means they had a new baby. <laughs> and he said, it's a baby and a chicken, <laughs> which just made me laugh. Morning and evening routines, more about my plants. Got lots of plants last year. Lupin on Netflix was good already thinking about planners in February call your dad you're in a cult <laughs> so oh this was going around Facebook doing like an interview with your kids at their current age so he was six when I asked him this question at what age do you become a grown-up? Probably like 15 years old, but I only need to be eight to drive the John Deere, which is like so far his his biggest life goal is he wants to be big enough to drive the, the riding mower. <laughs> so more kind of pages. That's a new washi. I was doing green for March. And 
another monthly review, more quotes. I usually pick one for the month. Projects, brain dump, books. I read no books in March. I did, so I had done this the year before in my Stology where I did like a health and fitness log um, where you can see I was tracking the things that I still track, just how I was feeling my anxiety, depression, and fatigue. Um, I moved it into my ring. Did I didn't do this in January. What was I talking about? Did I miss it in January? Um, I love how all the screen looks in here. A recipe for banana bread. Uh, I had a really difficult time in March. Um, Rowan had a birthday, so I was kind of planning out what we were gonna do for his birthday since he couldn't have a party. Um, but like mentally, I struggled a lot mentally last March. Love this because I got <laughs> these denim overalls and I'm I'm still obsessed with them, but I was obsessed with them last March and this is kind of what I was listening to. My favorite breakfast at the time was vanilla Greek yogurt with strawberries and sliced almonds. Still like that. where I was really struggling, so I was writing things down. Um, I had a blank page, so I just wrote some song lyrics on it, which I love, Corinne Bailey Ray. Um, this was Rowan's birthday, and this was when I remembered how much I love having like pictures of what we were doing in my planner. So I just kind of tipped that in. My older kids came to have cake and ice cream with their baby brother. He had garbage trucks on his cake and he loved that. This is kind of what the color palette I was thinking of for April. I was still doing a monthly review. going into April, but I guess it was, yeah. April started in the min at the end of one week, so it was my middle daughter's birthday, and then we go into April. This was a freebie in the Essen Plans Facebook group, and I think I hadn't put anything on this page, so at the end of the month, um, I went back and printed some pictures out and put them in. That's my son and his girlfriend have a, what are these called? A sphinx, like a hairless cat, because um, he has allergies. <laughs> and, and the cat's name is Tofu, and they have a little backpack that they carry him in. So they had come over to, um, my older son's name is Zach. So Zach and his girlfriend came over to take Rowan. Um, to get ice cream and Rowan was walking that they took the cat on a walk through the neighborhood and then that's Gracie our dog and that's Livy my granddaughter. I got some new slippers which were super cute. Books that I read. That was a decent-ish reading month. Um, and I went back to doing this sort of one thing about the day was stickers that I liked. And then we just go into April. I really liked April too with the pink and purple. DMX passed away on April 9th. I got a um, pitcher to make cold brew coffee at home, which was kind of fun. I was doing like a spring schedule. I printed out this meme, which if you watch um, Shit's Creek, but I'm a Virgo and the meme says I'm, I'm trying very hard not to connect with people, which is, <laughs> was my energy at the time. Uh, I think this was when we got our second COVID shots. I 
love these stickers. These are stickers from a Happy Planner book. Gosh. That was, that was in April. More song lyrics. There's my overalls that I'm obsessed with. I finally got a picture of me in them. Um, and then this is going into May. I think I started another book in May, but May 1st was on a Saturday, which was our, our anniversary is May 1st. So we had dinner. It was our first outing since lockdown and our vaccines had kicked in so we went out to dinner and we went to the art museum it's a very lovely night and then these are just like extra pages in the back and then i moved into book two i think of the three book two is my favorite um and this is so these are both b6 size stologies this is an a5 half year um, that I had cut down to B6 size. And I think I just prefer the smaller grid that's in the A5. So once again, my index. This is from that um, SM Plans freebie. I was watching Mayor of East Town started drinking iced coffees, wearing denim overalls on repeat. They were like my favorite thing to wear. I like how this turned out. This was our anniversary. So I just wrote like a, some stuff about how I was feeling about my husband. And then, yeah, I was still doing, I'm a creature of habit. And if I like something, I'm gonna keep doing it so I was still doing a day per page here I think I started doing the timed thing in this book so I had my times and then I was sort of doing a to-do list and then um, giving myself so I did my April review I was trying to come up with an, a kind of calming routine that I could do every Sunday isn't really stuck. Um, I love this because our, so Rowan loves garbage cans and our like local trash company he loves. And so he, our garbage day is on Friday and he wakes up early every Friday without an alarm to make sure that he sees the garbage truck when it comes and so he had been working up to kind of introducing himself so he would sit on the step first he would stand at the door and then he got a little more comfortable so then he would sit on the step on the front porch and then finally one week he had uh oh he's hurt uh, sorry <laughs> um Finally, he had my husband introduce him to the garbage man, whose name was Dan. But, and so every week they would, you know, say, Dan would say, hey buddy, how are you doing? And they would have a little chat. And we didn't know that Dan was, I guess, transferring maybe to another route. But on his last day, Rowan, we didn't know it was his last day, but Rowan was outside watching the garbage truck and I remember being in the house doing something and he came in and he's like, mom, look what I got. And I'm like, what are you, what do you mean? Wh where did you get that? And he's like, Dan gave it to me. So Dan was leaving and Rowan was like his little buddy. And so he'd given him a garbage truck and he was so happy that day. It was the, I actually cried cause it was like the sweetest thing. Um, and then like if there are funny memes, I will print them out and stick them in. More quotes from Rowan. Batman just chillaxes in his chair, reads a book and drinks wine. I don't know where he got that idea from. I started trying to keep affirmations in here. Um, I 
just this was our last day of school and it was awesome like school was just really struggle for us last year and yeah I just I was planning things for us to do over the summer more selfies a review of May go into June. This was from Sterling Inc.'s Facebook group. And I continued doing this. This June must have been like pink and green. My dad turned 91 on June 5th. More things Rowan says. There was like that that app that everyone was posting pictures of that turned you into like Pixar characters. So I put those in. Those are some of the plants I got. Morning routine and evening routine. I still haven't found my sweet spot with that. Pictures of Rowan, cut out cookie recipe, more planner notes. Everyone was vaccinated at that point, and so Rowan got to go to his grandparents for a sleepover, which was magical. We hadn't had, um, I mean, we hadn't seen anyone since lockdown happened the year before, I guess, and so he hadn't been for an overnight with them since then. might have to blur that out. I had to, like my therapist had me write a letter to myself and I wrote it in there. Uh, there's my granddaughter in her overalls. And then this is, I think like exhausted Ben meme was like everyone last year, but. Um, We had a tornado warning that night, which was kind of scary. My niece came over and swam. I just, I think I'm like, I just like the smaller grid. Um, <laughs> this I printed out, it was a meme that I saw and I wish that my, um, mom was still alive because I would have sent that to her and then she would have called me and been like Courtney Ray why are you cussing um <laughs> but I never dream I'd grow up to be an asshole but here I am killing it um and then this was the day like we had cicadas this year so my outdoor time was limited because I just oh they are so gross and loud but this day I realized they were gone. I couldn't hear them anymore. Just more daily pages. We had an issue with Rowan's haircut. Oy. Um, and then just a quote. This was for July. I guess I didn't know we had July in here. There's this ice cream place that we go to and they have like an a uh, coffee float so it's coffee with ice cream in it it's so freaking good man swimming can of wine we went downtown one saturday to ride the streetcar and have tacos and it was like we had our lives back for a minute this was when we took Rowan to the Indianapolis Children's Museum. I think my husband must have been on vacation this week. Uh, I think that's it. And I get sparse here. I was using blue ink and I really like it. I'm going to go back to blue pen. had brunch oh this was the day we had my one of my good friends um, that I kind of grew up with lives across the country but she was here um, 
visiting her family and she's a photographer and so she did family pictures for us that day and just more pictures that was like i was really ro worried about rowan going to school in the fall and then yeah that's august i mean that's all of july and then i moved into the third book of the year so this is back to the b6 full year um size i stuck this sticker on the front from happy planner sticker paper in the front like i told you when i find something that i like i just do that i think this was may have been the last month i did like the calendar thing this is from sterling ink and i think this is when i switched to two pages per day. I started habit tracking. Um, up there. Some things may get blurred out because I didn't really go through and like cover anything up. Um, that is my son Zach and his baby tofu. Uh, pictures, goals and tasks, books. And those were two of my favorite from our pictures that we had a couple weeks before. I had started thinking in August about Nano NaNoWriMo. That surprises me. We went swimming that day. I posted my very first TikTok video on August 14th. I went and got coffee that day and one of the baristas had written, I'm sure it was just like they randomly write messages on cups. It wasn't like for me specifically, but it said you are loved and I was like, oh my God, I need that. Had like open house that day. His first day of school. It was our neighbor's birthday, and he's really good friends with my husband, and so we went out to dinner that night. Those are some of the photos from that. And then school had started back, so I started doing my timed dailies again. Day on two pages. This was my husband's birthday. There was like a rainbow that day. Um, and he wanted an ice cream cake. That's all he wanted. So we just had a quiet dinner and an ice cream cake for him. My daughter and my granddaughter sent me pictures on like Snapchat or something. Uh, Rowan had to have his first COVID test of the school year. Selfies. This was, I turned 48 this year and I had a few girlfriends over for a little get together. And so these are kind of, the party was on the 28th, but my birthday was actually on the 30th. So my husband got me the best birthday cake and I had it for breakfast the next day. Weekly overview. That was just my, my birthday day. A big slice of birthday cake and coffee for breakfast. My kids sent me birthday messages. Don't tell anyone, but I was happy to get up and work out. And we had Indian Spice Train for dinner. And then that's me on my 48th. Watched clickbait on Netflix. These were kind of the colors I was thinking of for September. I did not do an August review. I think I meant to go back and do one and I just never did. 
I liked how this turned out in September and it kind of got me nostalgic for doing like scrapbooking again. Books. And then this is my September. This is when I watched the LuLaRoe documentary. Oh, that was funny. My daughter and son-in-law had sent us a package. They live in Hawaii and we got it that day with stuff for our birthday. It was really sweet. Oh, I played Sorry with Rowan. Uh, ideas for setting up a ring planner. And back to my, I must have cut, showed this at some time. Well, how do I look with Dad's jersey on? Oh, you look fantastic. Look, it says Rowan on the back. Oh, yeah. Mr. Old put it on there. Yeah, I know, for his birthday. Yeah, I believe. So, well, I think we should probably get far, find some white letters and then we can put Fernie on the back of my jersey too. Okay. See ya. Okay, bye. Um, we went to the pumpkin farm that day. This was <laughs> my husband, the anniversary of our, our first date. Um, which is also, well, it's September 19th, which is also Talk Like a Pirate Day. Um, got a new plant, so I tried to draw it. Don't know how much. That was the day I made the SM Plants PR team. Sick that day. Like some days are blank and that's totally fine with me. This was, uh, would have been my mom's birthday. And so we went to my dad's house and kind of hung out with him for a little while. They announced the original Law & Order is coming back. And yeah, I think it's, I did do a review for September. I liked this because I got out my watercolors to kind of Try to match it to this calendar from SM Plans. And we go into October. So it's much the same. Some days I write on the extra page, some days I don't. I was trying to think of like my ideal. I had decided to do NaNoWriMo. So I was trying to come up with a day, like a good work. Thing. Zach came and surprised me. He doesn't live close. I mean, he lives like in the city that we, well, we live in the suburbs and he lives in the city, but so we don't get to see him that often. Rowan got new books. He had a slept late. My period was annoying me, so I wrote about that. I went thrifting that day. And then we're into October. All this time. This was still October, what am I talking about? My daughter turned, my oldest daughter turned 30. Oh yeah, makes me feel incredibly old. So yeah, I love this like minimal calendar and I kind of tried to match it here with the quote. I did not get much reading done or anything in November because it was NaNoWriMo. So I just kind of, this was the day Rowan got his first COVID shot. Uh, I think we did picture retakes. 
new morning routine. I watched The Harder We Fall on Netflix. And then I don't think I did much th this week. I was kind of putting together the menu for Thanksgiving, thinking about planners, and then I just did a weekly for this week because it was the week of Thanksgiving. It was the end, like, almost of NaNoWriMo, and so it was just right, clean, cook. That's all that I did. Um, I was kind of brainstorming my word of the year. I think I was gonna come back and write there, but I didn't. I did NaNoWriMo. I won NaNoWriMo. And then we're into December. I did my weeks all up front and I hated the way that turned out. Never do that again, future me. Um, and like you can see where I kind of start falling off in December. Um, had another negative COVID test there. And then that was Christmas Eve, and that was Christmas Day, and that's when I got COVID, and that's all that's left. So, I mean, I don't ever see myself not using one of these just because I love looking back on them. Um, but yeah, that was my last year's review of all my Stayologies. If you watch this whole video thank you so much um be sure to give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more from me and i will see you next time bye